sister. Hard. We should be too. should be to head to Samaru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your sister. But even so, people call Samaru the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information. But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Samaru City. Maybe even if we can't see exactly where the city is... Wait a second! Look! There's someone up ahead! Perfect timing! Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventurers. Hey there! <laughs> We're not from around here and seem to have gotten a little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. Huh? Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey! You over there! Could you give us some directions? Huh? What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. <gasps> Wait! Could she be ignoring us? Hmm. Well, even so, she might be heading someplace where we could find other people to ask. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Come on, let's follow her. Just keep quiet and make sure she... are going so smoothly today. or something, but, uh, it looks like that's not the case. Look, she's sitting over there. Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here, could she? Uh, what should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? All right, then. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. Even if she's not very friendly, we... Ch oh! Hmm... What a lovely smell! It's coming from that sensor over there! This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but... Huh? What's the matter? You don't look too good. What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange!
If he says that he's going to be all right, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, are you awake now? Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're finally awake! Well, we're at... Uh... This is Gandarvaville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. Oh, no... No things are necessary. I didn't do anything, really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. All right, I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. Uh, sorry, Master. <sighs> now, the guide to Avidya Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be- Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, So, how are you doing? Feeling better? Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. He I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneol to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. That incense typically has no effect on most people. Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Hmm. Kale, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? W why Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. Yes, Master Tainari. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. Further observation? No need to be hasty. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we if you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Oh, are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? 
So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse rea- Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. <sighs> Seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible. Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here worrying about you, you know! What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? You mean, the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? Good idea!